Now that we got the images imported, we're ready to do a little more organizing on a more individual basis. There are about three things that I might regularly do um, as part of a, a quick workflow. One is to create albums, another is to add keywords to individual images, and lastly, stacking, which I mentioned earlier. Firstly, let's say I wanted to create an album for just my nature images, just plants. I'm going to select one, hold down shift to select another image and all the ones in between. And I'm going to select this last image here with the, the floating plants by holding down command. So I'll select all five of them. You can go up to your toolbar here at the top and select new. Choose album. You'll notice on the right side the keyboard shortcut is command L. I usually use that because it's a little bit quicker. I'm going to name my album and ensure that it's going to include the selected items that I've already chosen. Click OK. Album will be created over here in the library bar uh, inside the project. Um, it's important to realize that while we've set aside these five images down here, they are still part of the project, as you'll see here. Uh, and they are not duplicated. So Aperture is not taking up twice as much room on your hard drive to store it one time here in the album and one time here in the project. It's only stored once, so you can create as many albums as you want, and Aperture is very smart about keeping your hard drive space uh, as clean as possible. Uh, now that we've created an album, let's add some keywords. Start with this one. You can click your keywords button up here, or you can do Shift D uh, to select to bring up your toolbar along the bottom. As the tooltip here says, you can also do Shift H to bring up your default keyword window here. I'm going to use these ones along the bottom because they're fast. Uh, you can also hover your mouse over a particular keyword and see what the tooltip is. In this case, to add keyword number three, which is landscape, I would hold down option three. I'm going to just click the button because that's easier. So I've assigned landscape to this one. Uh, this one I will make outdoor and close up and still life. Notice as I assign these keywords, they show up in the metadata in the viewer. Do another close up here, an outdoor. What about this one? And these down here, this one I'll assign it as indoor. Press D to hide your toolbar down at the bottom, and you've assigned a few keywords to individual images. You can click this button or shift H to bring up your keyword HUD and create all your own keywords so you can apply as many as you want. Down here you can choose different sets of keywords. You'll notice it'll switch between different categories and like everything else you can click on edit buttons to create your own presets which is really handy. I'm going to hit D to hide the toolbar again and we're finished with keywords. Lastly, stacks. You'll notice I've imported two, three additional images that we did not have before. Technically, as we look through these, you'll see they're all three slightly different, but very much the same. I don't need to see all four of these in my browser down at the bottom here, because they're too similar. I just want to choose the best of all of these and see only that one. But I want to keep the other three just in case I need them for something else down the road. That's where stacks comes in. I did not auto stack them on import, so I'm going to manually stack them now. I'll click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one, and that highlights all four of these very similar images. Stacks are so useful in Aperture that they've created a whole menu bar item for it, just for stacks. Okay? 
You might find it useful to learn the keyboard shortcuts on the right side. Somehow they choose command K to stand for stack. I guess they read the word backwards. I'm going to do stack command K and you'll notice down at the bottom these four images have a darker gray background behind them. There's like a box around all four of these, right? And in the first image there's a an overlay here that says four. That's indicating there are four images in this stack. I can click that button to close the stack, click it again to hide it. So you'll notice that with the stack closed, I only see what we call the pick of the stack, the best image out of the four. Now I can browse through my library and not see a whole bunch of duplicates. However, I have to choose which is the pick of the stack. So I'm going to click the four icon again to open the stack. Now we're going to go into a particular viewer mode called stack mode. And there used to be a button for it right here in Aperture 2. They've hidden it a little bit more in Aperture 3. If you go to view on the menu bar at the top and choose main viewer, you'll notice five options for how you can view your images. Notice the keyboard shortcuts again. Stack is, com is option T. For most of them, they've chosen the second letter in the word to be the keyboard shortcut. So T is the second letter in the word stack, so it's option T. O is the second letter in the word compare, so it's option O, etc. They broke the chain, though, so that the order reads, you are hot. Round of applause for Apple. Back to business. Option T puts us in stack mode. I'm going to click stack here. Uh, but similarly, I could have just chosen option T. Now, you'll notice, both in the viewer up here and the browser down here, the image on the left has a green outline. That indicates that that's the pick of the stack. That's the best one. It says here at the top, current pick. If I use the right arrow on my keyboard, I can slide through my remaining three images, and they're going to cycle over here on the right side. Now I want to choose the best one. See, the rest of these are a little bit dark, but I can adjust that later. What I really want to choose between is the focal points and the composure of it. This is very subjective, but I think I like that one better. I'm going to hold down Option, and then the straight bar on the right side, uh, which is immediately under the delete key on your keyboard. Doing option, or I'm sorry, command bar will move that image to the current pick of the stack. And it'll move the one that was the current pick of the stack into the second place. Notice also it cycles you to the next image down the line. So you really only have to go one time through this stack. You start on the left side, and eh, that's not very good, and eh, that's not very good. Yeah, that's the best. Command bar moves it to the very beginning. Okay? You should only have to go through each stack one time just to choose the best. I'm going to reset this one as the stack. If you want to be really picky, you can do command left bracket or right bracket to cycle images within the stack. Uh, I don't really tend to be that OCD. Um, I only care about which is the best. Uh, what's second, third place doesn't matter to me. So I'm going to choose just the best one and close it. Uh, Shift K will close the stack, by the way. It makes it easier. That's it for stacking. I've imported my images. I've organized them. I've set just a few aside into an album to find them much more easier later. I've hit D to bring up my toolbar to apply keywords to just a few images seen here. And I've gone up to the stack menu and used stacks to group them together. I can also drag images into a stack or out of a stack, etc. I went to view to say main viewer, stack mode, which lets me cycle through all of my images. And that's it. Let's move on to doing some editing.